This video is brought to you by Sailrite. This video will show you how to make a webbing strap that's typically used in a cover application. You can see here we use the flat webbing hook and attached it to the gunnel of this sailboat. It can also be attached to the tow rail in the same manner. Here you can see a dinghy. We're going to attach the flat webbing hook to the rub rail of this dinghy. Typically all rub rails are designed in this fashion. And you can see how you can cinch down this strap and the cover to the dinghy. Here you can see the underview of the hook attached to the rub rail. This strap and the uh, flat webbing hook can work great with a footman's loop. This is just a demonstration on a tabletop of how the hook attaches to the footman's loop. Available from Sailrite. Let's get started and show you how to make this adjustable webbing strap for covers. Here you can see the flat webbing hook by Suncor. Sailrite sells this as a stainless steel part and we'll also be using the stainless steel buckle that Sailrite sells as well. You'll notice one side is larger than the other. We're going to insert this one inch webbing into the larger side of the buckle just as shown here in the video. We'll loop over approximately three quarter to an inch of webbing on the back side and take it to the Ultrafeet LS1 sewing machine and sew some straight stitches reversing a few times in forward and reverse to lock that webbing in place. Now we'll take the webbing and fold it up approximately an inch to an inch and a half to create a tab that we can easily sew onto our canvas cover. There's no right or wrong way to do this, you just want enough tab showing that you can sew, sew it to the cover securely. We're going to actually sew a box X stitch here. It's really not necessary, all we need to do is just sew in forward and reverse to lock this tab in place because we will be sewing it down to the cover as well. But we've chosen to sew a box X stitch here because typically that's what's sewn onto webbing. A box X stitch is nothing more than straight stitches with a rectangle box with an X in the center. You'll notice that when we get to the corner, we bury the needle, we lift our foot, pivot on the buried needle, rotate the fabric around, lower the foot, and continue sewing. The length of webbing we're using for this video is approximately 23 inches after that buckle has been attached. We're going to install the flat webbing hook by Suncor to this webbing. Be sure the buckle is up and the flat webbing hook is facing towards the table with the webbing feeding in through the back side. As shown in the video, we want to run our webbing through the buckle, the back portion of the buckle, and then over the center portion of the buckle and through the forward portion of the buckle. Now our webbing strap is complete. Now we want to create a little tab here so that the webbing does not easily pull through the buckle. So we'll create a double fold here, take it to the sewing machine, and sew a straight stitch down the middle of that. Be sure to sew down the middle of this uh, double fold here on the webbing. That way the webbing will catch on the edge of the buckle to prevent it from coming through. And all that does is create a little loop so that when the strap comes up it doesn't easily come out of the buckle. Now all that's necessary is to attach the strap to the cover. This is a scrap piece of umbrella fabric with a double hem in it. We can attach it on top of the hem, or underneath the hem, or above the hem on the outside surface or underside surface. It doesn't really matter. Webbing straps are typically placed on a cover anywhere from a couple feet to a maximum of about four foot. There are no hard fast rules for that. As you can see in the video, there is a ton of adjustment depending on the length of webbing that you used. You can adjust it all the way up almost to the top of the buckle. So you can definitely get your cover nice and tight. All right, we're going to be installing our webbing strap on the bottom side of this uh, mock cover. So you can see the double hem is facing up. And we're just going to sew some straight stitches right along our stitch line on the top portion of this hem and also the bottom portion of the hem, reversing a few times to lock the stitch in place. 
But that's all there is to it. It's easy to make these straps and you can make them quite quickly. And as long as you have a place to position your flat webbing hook, whether it be a tow rail or the gunnel of a dinghy, or if you have to use the footman's loop, wherever you can attach that hook, it'll make a great securing method for any type of cover. There are many other ways that you can attach a cover to its application. However, using this adjustable webbing strap is one good technique, and using the flat webbing hook is also another good technique as long as the hook can attach to the gunnel or a tow rail or to a dinghy rub rail as shown in the video. I'm Eric Grant with Say right. thanks for watching this video. It's your loyal patronage to Say right that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.